in my last video I uh, talked to you about why I make the paintings I made, how I ended up with the ADHD teddies. You've seen in the recent month I painted a lot of teddies, ADHD teddies, that is, because teddies are always painted. But recently they look different. If you look at the old teddies and the new teddies, you might spot some differences. But nevertheless, all the paintings are pretty much made in the same steps, even though in my new paintings um, it takes a little more time and it also takes some more detail work. But I always work and I always worked from dark to light. Back when I was uh, doing graffiti, spray painting, I did a lot of characters that means like uh, figures instead of uh, letters and um, I met Bomba from Frankfurt who is an old school legend and he was working from dark to light and uh, I recognized it makes the stuff a lot more plastic and the lighting uh, in my opinion is way nicer. So this is pretty much what I do with my paintings. Of course, I start with the background and the background is always um, some fading that uh, might look like two colors, three, but mostly it's five or even more. And it takes some time then, of course, it's drying time. So I have to wait till it's dry. And then I apply what you might call the sort of off-colored rainbow flags uh, that I use as a compositional aspect. And uh, there, of course, I use um, tape and um, I have to apply it. Then I have to cover the whole canvas, except the space I want to cover. And uh, then again, I have to wait because the next color comes right next to the thing I just spray painted. And you don't want that to be wet because it's going to stick to the tape. So it's a lot of waiting and next color, next color. And when that process is done, I do paint whatever object, whatever teddy is there in all black. So um, when that is done, again, I have to wait till the color is dry and then oil bars come into play. Oil bars, um, it's not a wax, uh, it's not a crayon, it's, it's, it's oil paint mixed with a little wax and other stuff, but it's a lot of pigment. You can think of it like a lipstick. It, it's soft, it, 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 the color uh, uh, is really covering, it's really opaque. And, and then I start with the colors. And um, of course, as I have to leave the black from the background as an outline color, I have to look out because every line sort of has to be right because whenever I cross one of the outlines which are under it, it's done. I, I, I pretty much can throw it away because I won't get the oil bar pigment out of the black lines or spots that I crossed by accident. So this is a, a process that is very cautious, but when the main borders sort of are set, I start with a fur. And the fur is, um, on one hand, a very tiring process because you know, I'm doing a lot of lines, but um, it's also sort of meditative as I'm uh, uh, in the zone and, and slowly progressing within the head or whatever I'm covering with the fur. And uh, whenever I'm done with the first layer of fur color, uh, also here I go from dark to light, the next layer comes, which is always a lighter tone of the same color. And that is where the most pleasure part comes uh, for me, because it's a lot of fun to, to see these lines sort of come to life and uh, be something you want to touch. Like you want to be that child that wants to touch that teddy and... Um, the eyes, I also, I love the process of the eyes because they, the color darkens upwards. So I sort of smear it just upwards and the pigment uh, gets uh, thinner and thinner. And uh, I love the effect. And then also I add another color and 
doing the highlights is very close to taking the second color in the in the fur. It, it, it is very pleasuring to see the eyeballs come to life. When I have done that, I'm uh, almost done. The only thing is I add some color dripping and that I simply do. I don't have that on tape. I, I just spray paint in the cap of the spray can uh, till there's enough paint and then I just pour it on the canvas. So this is how a painting of mine comes to life. And if you want to see it in life, come to Bürchem on the 13th and 14th of um, April next week. That is now next week, Saturday and Sunday. And meet me there and meet my teddies.